It's now one year since I was first introduced to the wonders of arbitrage betting and I made my first $8,000 in profit. And since then, I've trialed, tested and developed my own optimal betting strategy, which I've now used to make over $40,000 in profit and counting. This is a strategy that I call positive EV or plus EV betting and it's a much better version of arbitrage. It's simpler to calculate mathematically, it's less time consuming, and in the long term, you can expect to make a lot more money. Make sure you guys watch the end of the video where I'll be going through a real life example of an actual plus EV and arbitrage bet that I can place on bookies as many people have been asking for this. So what is plus EV betting? EV stands for expected value and is a term commonly used in the finance industry by investment analysts, quantitative traders and all the wolves of Wall Street. It comes from probability theory and in short represents how much you can expect to make while disregarding any risk. In sports betting, this is easy to calculate. It's the sum of all the products of the payoff multiplied by the probability of that event. For example, in a soccer game between Norwich and Man United, the bookie is offering 1.42 on Man United to win. This means the payoffs are you make 42 cents profit if Man United win and lose $1 if Man United loses or the game ends in a draw. The EV or expected value is therefore the probability Man United win multiplied by 0.42 plus the probability of the game drawing or losing for Man United multiplied by negative 1. For more information on how you can get these probabilities, you can check out my previous sports betting video which I'll link above. And in that video, I talked about how you can get the fair odds and fair probabilities of events happening by looking at a betting exchange or a very sharp bookmaker. If you do the EV calculations for most of the bets that bookies are offering you, you will most likely find that it is negative. And this negative number represents how much the bookies are ripping you off by and how much you can expect to lose in the long term. However, occasionally there are plus EV opportunities. Positive EV betting relies on exploiting bookmakers' mispriced odds, which they will make mistakes occasionally, and also some of their promotional offers, which can turn your expected value to become positive. This can come in the form of either higher boosted odds or partial refunds on a bet that you don't win in the hopes of luring a new customer into becoming one of their great customers, which is the degenerate gamblers. Being a plus EV better means taking only the bets that are positive EV from your mathematical calculations and ignoring all other bets. So let's take a look at a hypothetical example to have a better understanding of positive EV betting and also compare it to arbitrage and from there you can see that arbitrage betting is truly inferior to positive EV betting. So in our coin toss example, we have a fair coin which means it has a 50% chance of heads and a 50% chance of tails. In this case, let's assume there's a mispricing in the odds. There's odds of 4 for heads and odds of 1.8 for tails. We have $3 to bet across either heads or tails. Let's see how our arbitrage better will go through about this. What they would do is first for the first bet, bet $1 on heads at 4 odds. The second bet is $2 on tails at the 1.8 odds. And therefore, if it's heads, they win $3 on their first bet and lose $2 on their second bet, which means they make $1 in overall profit. Similarly, if it's tails, they lose their dollar on the first bet and win $1.60 on their second bet, giving them an overall profit of 60 cents. What about for the plus EV better? They see the odds of 4 is positive EV or positive expected value, whereas the odds of 1.8 for tails is negative EV, as the odds are not the fair odds or higher of 2. We again have $3 to bet. Let's see what the plus EV better would do in this case. What they would do is bet all their money, the $3, all on heads at 4 odds, since that is the positive EV bet and completely ignore the other bet. So in the outcome that it is heads, they win $9 on their first bet and their only bet, so they get $9 in overall profit. If it was tails then, they would be unlucky and lose $3 on their bet and incur a $3 overall loss. But let's take a look at what the expected value is. The EV is calculated by the probability multiplied by the payoffs, which is 50% chance of landing on heads multiplied by $9 plus 50% chance of landing on tails multiplied by negative $3. This gives us $4.50 minus $150, which means our expected value is $3 for this bet. Now, what about the arbitrage better? 
This was their bet. One dollar on heads at four, two dollars on tails at 1.8 which means they get $1 overall profit if it is heads and 60 cents overall profit if it is tails. This means that EV or expected value is 50% times one plus 50% times 0.6, which are both positive numbers, but in the end, the EV is only 80 cents, significantly less than if it was for the plus EV better. So what are the advantages and disadvantages we can see from this example? Well, for arbitrage, the profit is risk-free. No matter what outcome it resulted in, he would make a profit. But the profit is small in the long term. And for plus EV, you do have that risk of losing $3 in that bet. But in the long term, your expected profit is going to be much higher. If you guys didn't understand how I did the calculations the first time, I would highly recommend you check out again the previous sports betting video where I explain how to do mathematical probability payoff calculations and then re-watch this coin toss example as things will only get more and more complex from here. So hopefully from that example, you can kind of see why I stopped doing arbitrage betting and then shifted towards a positive EV betting style. There's a few reasons for this, which I'll go over now. Arbitrage betting is essentially placing two bets. One, which is the positive EV bet, which is the same one that is being placed by the positive EV better. And the second bet is the hedge bet which is used only to reduce the risk of the first bet. And oftentimes the second bet or the hedge bet is negative EV. Overall, the sum of the EV or expected value is still positive, which hence you can get an arbitrage opportunity out of it and guarantee a profit, but it's likely going to be significantly less than if you just took the positive EV bet. And this will mean we are expecting to make less money in the long run, even though we are still making money, just not as much as positive EV. Also, since we are now placing two bets instead of the one, which the positive EV better is only required to place, this kind of tends to overcomplicate things. And now you have to work out calculations of how much to bet, which places to bet on for two bets instead of one and doubling the time and doubling the complexity. The only somewhat of an advantage that arbitrage has over positive EV is by the term itself. Arbitrage is a risk-free way of making money, which is probably what is appealing to most people. No matter the outcome, like in the coin toss example, you can see you can make money. And there is a lot of more risk when it comes to positive EV betting, in the short term only. For the positive EV better, there's a 50% chance they'll lose money in the coin toss example. But I would argue that this risk reduction is pretty insignificant, especially when it comes to playing the long game and betting frequently. Diversification and the law of large numbers state that as the number of bets I place approaches a large number, the presence of luck completely fades and my profit or loss will eventually converge to the point that is represented purely by the sum of the expected value or EV of all the, of all the bets I've placed. For the coin toss example, yes, if I place the bets once and only flip the coin once, then yes, I do have a 50% chance, which is quite a large chance of losing money. But imagine I made the coin toss and did the same bets on a thousand different coin toss events. Statistically, and you don't need to worry about how I did this exactly, but using binomial probability, you can see that 99.9% .9 of the time, there's going to be at least 450 heads or 450 times that the, fav that the outcome is in my favor out of 1000, so 45% of the time. So in this case, where there are at least 450 heads, which there's a 99.9% .9 chance of statistically, our arbitrage better won't actually make that much profit. They would can expect to make 450 times one plus 550 times 60 cents, which means they make an overall profit of $780. For a plus EV better, when there are at least 450 heads, they can actually make a substantial amount of profit. They can expect to make $9 multiplied by 450 plus 550 times the negative $3 that they lose each time that it's not heads, which means they have an overall profit of $2,400, significantly greater than that of our arbitrage better. And this is the kind of the worst case scenario where there's only 450 heads. If there were 500 heads or more, the profit would be even more bit significant. This shows that even with terrible luck, it no longer plays a huge difference when you can exploit the law of large numbers to phase out one-off variances. Now, as promised, I'll go on to show a bet that can actually be placed so you guys can realize that this is definitely not a scam. This wouldn't be possible without a fast-paced betting odds comparison site like OddsJam, which is also today's video sponsor. So here you can see that I am on the Odds Jams platform, which is a site that collects all the most recent odds data from all the major bookies and betting exchanges. 
and then compares them all to each other and finds all the arbitrage and positive EV opportunities. We can see this in the betting tools. There's both arbitrage and plus EV. As an example, we can see this arbitrage calculator tells us how much to bet on each event to guarantee a profit. So here we can see for our market player main threes for Marcus Morris, if we bet over 2.5 on Caesars and we bet under 2.5 on Fanchal, with the corresponding amounts of 500 and 659, we could get a profit guaranteed of $40.58. On the other hand, for our plus EV bets, Oddsjam will just recommend an amount to wager which is how much to bet based on our Kelly criterion and our expected value of how much we'll make is the amount to wager multiplied by the percentage of the EV. We can change our Kelly bankroll in our settings and we can also actually set email notifications to be reminded instantly when there's a large positive EV bet to place. For example here when I get 21% for this market. Oddsjam has the latest odds data of many bookmakers across the world but for now the opportunities are predominantly in the United States. So if you live there then you are in luck and you're easily going to find plenty of opportunities and you will make back the subscription cost and more very quickly. Ozjam also has a neat bet tracking feature that measures your performance. This helps you keep track of how you are doing. As an added bonus, I've managed to get you guys 25% off your first month subscription. To get this, you must 1. Use the link below and 2. Enter the code SHANE25 to get 25% off your first month. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to give it a big like down below, it really helps out the channel. And if you learned something today then make sure to subscribe to not miss out on the upcoming educational sports betting content. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.